Kimberly Richmond with Runaway Bride Destination Weddings. And I'm here to talk to you about Destination Weddings by Season. Now while all of the spots that I'm going to highlight are romantic year-round, there are peak times to visit each. The sky's a little bluer, the weather's a little nicer, you're going to get better rates, more bang for your buck. Springtime, for example, is the perfect time of year to visit Panama. Now Panama is one of those destinations that not a lot of people think of for a wedding or honeymoon, but you should be thinking about Panama. It's so easy to get to, it's about a 90 minute flight from Miami, extremely affordable to get to and very affordable once you're down there, and it's kind of a land of many personalities. You have the glitz and glamour of South Beach and Miami Beach and Panama City, for example. You have the new Trump Ocean Club that just opened up down there, so for those who want more of the chic experience, you can get it. And then about a two hour flight from Panama City are some of the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen anywhere in the world. You can be in Bocas del Toro in two hours, in Las Perlas, I mean really, truly remote, rustic, romantic. And I'd be totally remiss if I didn't mention Paris in the springtime. I mean, after all, Frank Sinatra wrote a song about Paris in April. There is a certain je ne sais quoi in the city of lights. Although it is romantic year round, springtime is when you're going to find the best rates, you're going to find amazing weather, and you're not going to get all the crazy crowds that you get in the summer. Speaking of summer, that's sort of a tricky season. Summer is definitely the most popular time of year for a destination wedding. Most people want to do barefoot on the beach, Caribbean comes to mind. I'm not saying not to get married in the Caribbean in the summer, but it's sort of a gamble. It's hurricane season down there, so you don't necessarily know what you're going to get, but you're also going to have more negotiating power because it is their off-peak season. So room rates are going to be a little bit lower, and you're going to kind of be able to write your price tag anywhere. You can also take out hurricane insurance if you're worried about the weather. My best bet for summer is Bermuda. Now, Bermuda is only about 600 miles off the coast of North Carolina, which means you're going to be more secluded and not as susceptible to the hurricanes and the storms, and you're still going to get beautiful pink sand beaches. Moving into fall, my favorite season, I'm a sucker for a storybook New England wedding. I absolutely love New England in the fall, particularly Vermont. Now we're talking September, October. Yes, rates are going to be a little bit higher, but you're really going to get the best of fall. Now think quaint inns, crimson leaves, apple cider cocktails, roaring fireplaces, you get the idea. Another really great destination for fall is Kauai. Now the reason I love Kauai in the fall is because again, you still get great weather, but the summer's over, which means the kiddos are back in school, giving the island a more romantic feel. And last, but certainly not least, we've got winter. Now winter is perfect for those adventurous couples that are really seeking more of the slopes of the Rockies versus the golden beaches of the Caribbean. Now I say really embrace the winter and have a fabulous winter wonderland wedding. Now while having a destination wedding on a mountaintop retreat in Switzerland might not be feasible, I say look to Park City, Utah. Very cool destination, a lot of fun stuff to do downtown. Of course you have skiing and snowboarding and cocktails by the fire for your guests. My only advice would be to steer clear of it in late January, which is when the Sundance Film Festival takes over the town. So hopefully I've given you a little food for thought on different destinations by season.